Good afternoon. It is June 5th, 2020, and you may be noticing that there's something significantly missing in this video. That would be my face. That's right. Um, I'm actually going to take you on a tour of my garden because that to me is a little bit more important than seeing my mug on these videos all the time. So I'm going to start out with the Ben Garden. That's right. If I go a little wider. There's my Ben Garden. It's really, it's not that pronounced yet. But if you come closer, you can see I've got a gladiola. See, I've got gladiolas coming up. Maybe that's the biggest one so far. I planted those bulbs about a month ago at least, not more. And over here, around the edge, I've got other flowers, and I actually can't tell you right now what's there because I planted around the whole circumference of the garden some annuals. I think there's pansies in there and some other different kind of annuals. And um, yeah, so that's the Ben Garden, and in the middle is a big stump. That's why it's the Ben Garden because it reminds me of my nephew Ben. Um, anyway and there's some other things coming up in the Ben garden so if we go a little closer like right there yeah there's some new lupins I had lupins in there last year so the seeds have come so I'll have lupins in the garden this year and uh, I may have some other residuals from my wildflower planting days I believe that would be it right there but it's only the beginning of June, so maybe in a month or so, I'll actually have something more significant to show you in the Ben Garden. Alrighty, I'm gonna come over here and show you my roses. But you'll see something significantly missing in this video as well, and that would be actually roses. So these are just the plants. That's my rose garden. And I am waiting for roses to come. Isn't that exciting? So this one here, I'll show you over here. That right there, that's my Rowena rose. Because I planted that one in memory of Rowena a few years ago. That's the latest edition. And I have officially named that my Susie Rose. See, that's in memory of my cousin Susie. Um, yeah, and actually Rowena and Susie passed away the same year. But I did not plant the trees the same year. But those are my two roses. That's Rowena over there. And that's Susie. That's right. So then I figured I'd have to name the rest of the roses. Now, this one over here will be pink when it starts to flower. That's my Johanna Rose. Johanna after my Oma Johanna. If you go a little bit closer over here, we get to my Paula Rose. That's right. That's pink as well, and that has little pink flowers. And then over here, we get to my Bernice Rose, and that is from my Aunt Bernice. That one is white. And over here in the corner, it looks like it's not really doing much, but there is some growth on that one as well. And I'm going to call that one my Gale Rose for my friend Gale from Ender BBC. So there's my rose garden. Hey. hear the birds I was gonna pause a little bit so you could hear the birds but here's my sweet peas they're uh, they're a little bit challenged they're coming up I thought I planted them early enough but there's my sweet peas so they're planted right in front of my bunny fence that is housing my strawberry patch so there's my strawberry patch right there and uh, there's my sweet peas. So they'll come up one day, I'm sure. Alrighty. 
So this is my perennial garden starting with a few annuals. That's in front of my my house. If you go there, you can see the front. There you go. See, there's the door, the entrance. And in here, where there's absolutely almost no sun, so it's all shade, I've got some pansies. And over here, I've got some bleeding white bleeding hearts. Yeah, and then some more pansies underneath. So, so they're coming up. They're the late bloomers, and if you go over there, that's the front rock garden. It's more rocks than anything because there is no sun. But again, I got some pansies. Look at that. Nice, pretty little pansy. So that's my front rock garden. And it goes from there all the way over to there. Okay. And one day there will be some lilies here, but not quite yet. So the little ones, those are different colors of lilies. And these big tall ones coming up, those are my stargazer lilies. So maybe when I have a video in a month or so, you'll have a different picture of what these actually are. But they're very beautiful flowers. And again, more rocks because I like collecting rocks. And there's my nice fern. I started that one last year. So I'm liking that idea of having that. And then over there I got a daylily. And then I got some... Uh, Bleeding hearts, those are the first to flower. Plus there's my peony plant, that is my Oma's peony plant. That is a big thing. And right now all I've got is bulbs with some ants that are crawling all over it because I've really heard that ants like peonies. Anyway, over here, I've got some irises. And they haven't bloomed yet either, but that's all right. And then I got some pansies. So that is my perennial garden. And yes, it's right on the highway. So it got a noise from traffic. Alrighty. And it is lilac season. My lilacs are a little delinquent this year, but they're coming. So you can see the honeybee. Look at that. See Mr. Honeybee? Maybe they're gone already. Nice pretty lilacs. But if I back out a little bit. There we go. See that's the actual deck. That's the lilacs. Over in that corner, I've got some mints started. So I've been doing a little bit of landscaping, making it worthwhile a little bit. Oh yeah, why don't we just keep showing you my willow trees. So those are my willow trees right there. Look at that, and they go all the way to the end. And they're still a work in progress as well. Yeah, and if we go around the corner here of the deck, over here you'll see my Virginia creepers and they're starting to uh, leaf up on the uh, lattice right there so that's what I've done with my creepers I did all that yesterday I dug up all the weeds around there and I put in mulch so it makes it look a little nicer yeah there you go so that's my that's my garden 